hello hello thank you guys so much for tuning in it is top of the hair and i'm bringing you guys an updated eyebrow tutorial i'm going to do this using the real techniques brow set i did get this from octoly remember guys i say it all the time and whenever i use something from octoly it is a website for creators like myself where you can try products out for free i do have my referral link down below if you guys want to ask me any specific questions about actively of course you're more than welcome to do so but this i really want to try this out i really love real technique stuff since i've been trying it out through actively did you guys know they got actively into uh, not Oc did you guys know that they have real technique brushes in target now i was in target a couple weeks ago and saw it but let's go ahead and open this up first i want to show you guys the case that it comes in so you can literally just travel with this bam you're good to go honey all you have to do is pull this so that you can create a stand if you want it you know kind of just on your table the first thing it comes with is one of these angled tweezers and of course you guys know that's just for shaping your brows they do have a detailed tweezer which I'm really excited about because that's going to get those fine hairs it comes with a slanted brow spoolie and that's just to help you you know brush up your hairs and it comes with a slanted arch definer basically to de define the shape of your brows and it also comes with a slanted brush which you can probably use for concealer you know to conceal and kind of clean up your brows I usually get my eyebrows waxed once a month sometimes I wait a little longer it really depends last time I got my eyebrows waxed I really love the shape and what she did and everything so I'm gonna wait probably closer to the end of the month before I get them waxed again so let's go ahead and get started Okay guys, so I already did one brow off camera using the kit and this is the undone one. I'm going to take the slanted brow spoolie and just kind of brush the brows up and over. Taking a LA Colors brow pencil, and obviously you guys you can use whatever pencil you have, but I always do this. I like to outline my brows first and then I connect them right at the ends. I do I never start at the end at the beginning because I don't like squared off brows. It should look like that. I'm going to take the angled tweezers and just kind of pluck a few hairs that are outside of that line. And then I'm going to take the detailing detailing tweezers. I'm sorry, I love these. You can really get those little short fine hairs. Thumbs up for me for this. Taking the slanted arch definer and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. That's how it looks, you guys. And I'm just going to fill in my brows here. I never start at the beginning of the brows because I do not like my brows to be squared off. But I'll show you guys what I do at the beginning of my brows. But I actually like this, this uh, thing. It wasn't too bad. It's like a spongy material. Going in with the slanted brow brush and my LA Girls Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. And I'm going to take a little bit of the product and put it on both sides of the brush. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I didn't really see a point of the this brush being slanted. It was really weird to work with. I like the brush in itself. I just actually wish this one was not slanted. But as you guys can see, whenever you clean up your brows, you do not need a ton of product. A little bit on any type of concealer goes a long way. But then you can just blend it out with your fingers. So really just clean it up and make it nice and sharp, which is what I like. And then just blend it out with your fingers. You do not need to use a lot of product at all. Going back in with the slanted spoolie, as you guys can see, I'm brushing it up, kind of moving the product to the beginning of the brow to make it look more realistic. Going in with the, what is this? This is the Hard Candy Brows Now. And I just went in with the highlighter part of it just to give my brows a little highlight. I do this whenever I'm not wearing like a full face of makeup. And then just using a Sonia Kashuk brush and blending that out. Sorry, I was out of focus in a few spots. Yeah, just blending that on out. This is actually a really good brush to do that with. And there you have it, you guys. Quick, easy, and simple. So I really did like this kit. Obviously, you don't necessarily have to buy this kit just to do your brows. But I do have all of these 
individual products the only product I do not have was the slanted arch definer but I actually like the way it spread the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow I really like the detailing tweezer because you can really get those short hairs wasn't a big can a big fan of the slanted brow brush I just didn't see a point for it to be slanted it was kind of it was weird to, to work with that and I really like the case because you can just prop it right on your desk or you know your vanity when you are working and doing your brows so make sure you guys check it out I will leave a link in the description bar so yeah my eyebrow is on fleek today but thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you guys and I will check you guys out in the next video